Welcome, in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Wetpad for writing your own stories. So the first thing that you want to do is just click here start writing when you're going to enter website. Now if you already own the account guys completely skip this step okay. So we can sign with the Gmail, Facebook or normal mail. I'm going to sign with the email and I will add username Sanwi. Like this, I'm going to copy the mail, paste it, password, and month, day, and year. Birthday, like this, this, and year, I'm 1996, and sign with the email. Now let's just wait until it loads. To get the best web experience, we want to know a bit about you. I like to write, and I like to do both, let's say. Let's click further next. So we like to write, what best describes you as a writer? I mostly write for fun, I'm pursuing a career as a writer, I'm a professional writer, let's say I'm exploring opportunities. Have you finished writing a novel? No. Now we choose like, who, what kind of person are you? I'm he. Next. And then choose up to three genres that you enjoy reading. Uh, this will help us better recommend stories you love. So let's say I like to have short stories, mystery, and adventure or diverse lit. Yes, and poetry. So let's say. Poetry, like this, finish. All done, thanks for setting up your profile. A world of stories awaits you. Start reading. And here, now how it works. If you want to read, you would find mm, all of the options that you can read here. So you, because you like mystery, fate stories, because you like short stories, and then you can go to the top left and browse and you can, let's say, I want to find short stories. And what you need to do is like, look at this, my invisible wounds, wounds, and then you would click like read here. So this is how you can read. Right? You can, of course, add a comments to everything, but this is pretty much it, how you can do it. And now let's say that you want to write. So how to do it? How to write? You need to go to the top right next to the right. You would click here and you would click create a new story. And then you would add a cover. So let's say upload a cover. Then I would add, let's say baby Yoda here. And let's say what you need to do is to add title baby Yoda and his adventures. So title needs to be captivating, it needs to be really good. Then description, this story is about Yoda traveling across the universe. This is the description about stories with description gets 100 times more reads than ones without. Write a short description that will excite your readers and hook them in. Now, I'm going to uh, to webpa.com, like how it actually looks like when you write something. So when you click browse here, so let's say I would have nonfiction, and this is uh, this is the description, right? And that's how it works. Then you have main characters. So I'm going to add Baby Yoda. Then Mandalorian. And this is how we can do it, right? You would add main characters here. Now, when we go further, we're going to see tags here. So tags are really important. So let's say a tag would be fan fiction. Then we would have 
Star Wars, and you would just add tags here. I really recommend doing it and specify what are you actually writing about. It's really important so people can also search you by tags. Then we have genre here. Let's say this is going to be the fan fiction. Who is your primary audience? Who is this story for? This information will not be shown to your readers. Instead, this information will be used to help Wattpad more easily discover your story. Now, when you have the genre here, uh, by genre, you just choose what we were choosing in the beginning when we were creating the account. Target audience, you write it out here. Who is your primary audience? Middle age, young adult, new, new adult, this is me. New adult and adult. Language, again, you choose uh, what kind of language you're writing it in. Of course, you can change the target audience here anytime. And then copyright, you do not allow your work to be used or adapted in any way without your permission. All right reserved, yes. Rating, mature or on off. So let's say you're gonna write some NS not safe for work story or just some kind of story that you know that mm, it's not like good to read for young people and you can have it mature on and off. You can read it here. Rate your story appropriately to ensure the positive reading experience for your readers with no unwanted surprises. Then when we have it, go to the right and let's click next. And now header header media. Okay. Now we have option to add, uh, let's say a GIF, a video, YouTube URL or image. So uh, what I can do, I can baby Yoda. Write it right here. Take it, paste it like this, and or what you can do, edit it. I can replace the video or add image and have like only image, not the video. So that's how you do it. So we have the image and video here. I can go on the right side and remove video and have only image here. And now this would be the first part one. So I can go and right here, uh, let's say baby Yoda adventure to another planet. And then I will just start writing here. What you can do is to add line media. Okay, and text. It all started when baby Yoda was traveling with Mandalorian. And then I can just like write like this. And that's what you can do. And just start writing a story. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So let's say I'm going to open this one here. And you see they have the parts here. See, then you can of course go to top right and you're going to see the dedication here, time settings, external ring revisions. You can add also external ring, as I mentioned, time settings. So when you have it, let's say that I would have this, then what I can do, I can click save and preview. Then you can click also preview here. And this is how we can do it. Of course, guys, definitely I recommend activate the account. Continue. And what I can do then next to the save, you're going to see publish. When you're going to write the story, you would click publish. And let's say I need to refresh the website.
publish and look at this so when we have it finished we can of course also add the media here see what i can do is to simply start writing again here i can click publish next to the save and you see these are the title the description the tags and everything and if the story status is completed or no this is something that we were setting in the beginning then you see the story notes protagonist name other names for pronoun attributes and also then the protagonist that tends to be and you like edit it and choose it and the goals um and what is the like the way the protagon the protagonist is going to work on stories have multiple characters and many main characters the protagonist on the other hand is the leading character in your story they are the most prominent figure in your story who drives the plot and makes up the most narrative they are the character whose fate is most closely followed by a reader so oh, this is how we can do it and then you can have like story details here so yep and then you click like publish you can also view it as a reader publish it's not complete okay and here we are look at this now when we have it we actually uh, create it i can write comments into it i can share it with someone i can edit this part and that's how we do it what you can always do is go to let's go back click on the right and you would see create new story or my stories and then you have three dots here you can use it as a reader unpublish it delete the story you can see stats here you can share it or you can just simply continue the writing and this is where you can do guys so you can continue writing or you can click on an arrow right here and click add a new part in the moment when you clicked on a new part you see right here on the left side you can always do it new part and then voila we have three new parts so we would start writing story and on the top left you would just click on it and you can add multiple parts so this is how we can actually go to top left click on it and then click a new part so that's how we do it and you see right here so when i go back and i would have my stories i can continue writing on click on an arrow here click on a new part click on my table of contents and you can always change the story notes the table of contents and everything so this is pretty much it how we can use the wattpad wattpad tutorial how to use wattpad wattpad for the beginners wattpad and yeah so thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya